but yeah let's just start going around my room i guess it's not very big it's a tiny little box room i got given it 10 years ago well probably more like 14 years ago <laughs> so yeah this is my bed <laughs> it's messy because you know i sleep in it it's not meant to be perfect and the doggo has joined <laughs> come on come up <laughs> yeah he likes to sleep on my bed he sleeps on it every night it oh really stop um yeah it's i don't mind having him on my bed you know i clean my bed it's not gross <laughs> yeah it's not oh stop it <laughs> um yeah and i got this among us plushie because i thought it'd be funny i'd be like oh wow what if i did a crane game and i won it that'd be so funny oh my god that was so funny <laughs> it was not funny i had to carry it around with me all day and i was just gonna donate it to charity but <laughs> the dog he actually sleeps on it like a pillow like I kept this pillow because he sleeps on it, but he also puts his head on that, so I just decided to keep it because if he likes it, it's one less toy that I have to buy. So yeah, this is my door. It goes up to the hallway. I got this jacket. It's still quite small, but I'm working on fitting into it and stuff. And behind it, I have a little bag. I got it off Wish, so it probably no longer exists. And I've never used it. I just thought it was cute and I wanted it. And then behind it, just a little fox thing because I used to have a massive obsession with foxes. So yeah, that's that. Hello, sir. Hello. Aren't you cute? This down here is just a carpet. Um, I got it for Christmas don't really use it it gets dirty really easy like <laughs> you just breathe too hard on it and all the dust comes off it's really gross but it's cute and the dog sleeps on it again so <laughs> i just don't have the heart to get rid of it this is his water bowl you know if he doesn't want to go downstairs at night which he often doesn't he drinks out of this bowl and i got like a little mat to protect the floor which doesn't really matter because he dribbles everywhere anyway and this is the windowsill. I'm trying not to show the outside, but I've got a little picture of this dog. It looks exactly like my dog, pretty much, but it's not, it's some random person's dog. But I thought it was cute, so we bought it. And then again, another dog thing. Very true, very true, can't deny that. But this is probably what people want to see the shelf of figures and what do you call it i started this collection when i was like eight years old so some of these figures are really old and you know i'm almost 18 now it's less than a month till i'm 18 and i've just been collecting constantly every birthday and christmas and occasionally in between up here this is my first ever builder bear i don't know if the hand still works no it doesn't but i thought it was cute it's really gross it's really dirty i should probably wash it um up here there was this book i got it for christmas it's like one of them books where they'll just draw your pet in and the story is the same for lots of different people whoever chooses it they just put your dog in it the only thing I'm mad about is they didn't include his white beard. He's got a, such a cute white beard and they didn't include it, but... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's still cute though, I like it. I also have this. I thought it, I got it off AliExpress recently. It was only like £5 and it's really cute. So I got this big one. They were selling them like really cheap. And I got it because it's like Nagi and Mitsuki from Idolish 7. And I thought it was so cute because when you flip it inside out, it's angry. And <laughs> I thought it was cute. And I've also got another yellow and orange one. And another yellow and orange one. 
So yeah, I really like the yellow and orange ones. I got a pink and blue one as well. <gasps> that almost fell in the water bowl. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing happened. Um, I'm not going to elaborate on some of the stuff in packages because it's for a friend and I don't want to spoil it. This is a little purse. It's really cute. I like it. Not much to say about it. It's a purse. And I've got a little Jusa earring. How cute. I lost the other one, so I don't, I can't actually really wear them anymore. I also got these off AliExpress, but I looked the other day for someone else and they were just not on there anymore, which is a shame because they're so cute. If they are back up, I will like put a link or something, but yeah. So this is the A3 shelf. It used to be a lot more full, but I moved them all that way because they're all squished up. But the first things I ever bought for A3 were these mangas. They don't come in any English translations, so they're all in Japanese, but they're actually really cute to look through. I really enjoy looking through them. I do it quite a lot. A lot. I really wish I could find the autumn troop ones. I've not really bothered about summer or winter. I just really want the autumn ones. Um, these were off of eBay. I don't know if there'll still be any up, but yeah. I also got this for Christmas this year. It's the book where it goes through like all their plays, their outfits. Very nice. And it's very good for drawing references actually. Like, yeah. And then I have a little thing behind it. I'm really not sure how to store this one though because it does bend but i don't want to put it in a frame because you know then i can't look inside it and i want to look inside it so i'm not sure i'll figure something out at some point i got this little figure of sakyo very cute it's my most recent bit of merch but yeah it's cute i like it um i got these little bunnies they're really cheap i can't remember if it was plaza japan or cd japan but one of them does all of like the pitanui's and stuff like that and all these little bunny things they do them really cheap like 10 pound 15 pound but yeah that's that um these have like little a3 earrings in them oh yeah they're so do you mind oh my god <laughs> okay fine you can see them like that yeah, there's Sakyo, Kazunari, I think there's an Itaru in there somewhere. Yep, and then I had Juza, and I can't remember if I had anyone else. I don't think I did. But yeah, that's my A3 earrings. This is the Idolish 7 shelf. I have mainly my Pythagoras Trio Worship Corner, <laughs> because they're my favourite characters in the game. Um... I got this was the first one I got about two or three years ago he followed and then he followed after that <laughs> these together were probably about 70 pound altogether I got them off eBay which is like not a good decision at all you should always check if people are like selling them second hand because they'll most definitely be cheaper I have my figures I forgot to clean them before I started so if you see any dust um sorry <laughs> but yeah this is Mitsuki I got them in both the colors they came as a set so I got them for Christmas I hoovered up this one's ears both of them so he no longer has them and nobody knows what happens to these ears the only problem I have with these is like their toes are out I don't want to see their toes <laughs> why I also kept the boxes because they're cute and you know I can stack things up and see them better. This was the first ever merch I got from him. And it ended up being the Christmas one, which is cute, but I didn't want the Christmas one. <laughs> and this was the second one I got. It was really cheap on eBay. Both of these came from eBay. I got a box set of these Omanju things. And they always fall down, which is quite annoying. Um, I got these off eBay too. They were like £60 as a set or £50. 
which is really cheap considering people can sell these for like £10 at most so you're always better off buying in the box set they're so cute lined up together they make like a little rainbow the only person that I really want after this is 10 Kujo 10 and Momo that's it Momo um yeah there's this little charm it used to light up but I ran out of batteries so it doesn't anymore this little charm um it was from fishish tier on instagram i believe that's still their thing and i'll link their instagram below but it's so cute it's like they all shake and then they're in a little crane game it's very therapeutic sometimes i just sit there and just for ages the only downside is they do get stuck in the little hole and you can't get them out <laughs> this second shelf is all my like miscellaneous figures i don't really belong to anything this is from one punch man season two i forget his name i haven't watched season two in a while so this is mashido munetani from haifuni i actually really like the show it's like battleships with high school girls it's really cool <laughs> Um, she is very pretty, I really like her design and when I saw her at a convention for like £20 I was like obviously I have to get it because it's so cheap. This of Len, it was my first ever figure like nine years ago and I'll probably never get rid of him just for that reason, I'm not really into Vocaloid as much anymore. This is probably my favourite figure that I've ever got. Like, it's so detailed, like, even on the stand. Like, all up here, there's so much detail, it's so pretty. Um, I think this was about £80, so it's, like, my most expensive figure. But I really, really enjoy it. I'm not really much into Black Butler anymore, but, you know. And then to match that, I've also got Sebastian. It's exactly the same. This one was about £60 or £50, I can't really remember. So this is like my second most expensive one. But he is also very detailed despite being very simple. I really like how they stay true to the height difference. Like, it's very visible difference and I really do like these. I don't think I'll ever get rid of them. I've thrown their boxes away so that I won't have to sell them as well. So yeah, that's that, I guess. This is my Haikyuu corner. Um, each and every one of these Nendroids are broken. I do not recommend getting Nendroids really, unless you're just gonna keep them in the box. His head came off. His arm was broken from the minute I opened the box. It was just faulty by design and his head is really weird like it's coming off with a little nubbin it's really weird um his stand broke this thing snapped off but they are really cute i do plan on throwing them away i don't feel right to sell them considering how broken they are so you know they're still cute i still like them but it's it's like such a waste of money and it's not even like I was manhandling them. I literally just took them out of the box. These are my Victor and Yurio figures. I got these a couple of years ago, like back when Yurio and Ice was like massive. I just thought that they're like the models were cute. They just have like such big heads and tiny bodies and Yurio is like a gay icon. So they were on like a two for one deal so you got like a discount on the other one the only problem is these little thingies here they're such a pain in the ass to dust because dust just like gets all in the crack and i spent ages dusting it i have my ushijima right at the back um he was possibly my most expensive one i still got the price tag for and I just don't want to take him out because I just don't want him to be broken. All his little faces down there are so cute. It'd be nice to swap them out, but I just, I don't want to break him because he was so expensive. So yeah, that's this shelf. 
this is just sketchbooks and stuff that I just don't use really. I've got this little colouring book but it sucks like you can't actually colour in it. This is a sketchbook. <laughs> More sketchbooks, sketchbooks. This is my light box. It doesn't work anymore, so I'm not really sure why I got it. Yuri on Ice calendar from a couple of years ago. These paints that I literally have not used. I do not use them anymore. Um, I just don't do traditional art anymore, so there's not really any point. This, oh my God, this is so dusty. Why have I not seen this? Oh my God. This is just like a mini sketchbook from when, I, don't, I think I was like, oh God, I must have been like nine, maybe 10 or 11 when I did this. I was very little, it's gross on my fingers. This is my Haikyuu collection. It is very old. To, like my dog is almost six years old. He chewed that up when he was a puppy and I basically just bought them so that in 10 years I can sell them off for a bunch of money, I'm not going to lie. I I barely read them. I'm on this one. I like I read up to where the anime ended at like season 4, but then the anime carried on so I just don't need to read it anymore. Which, you know. This is, well, legs. Ouch! This is to clean my carpet thing, you know, just get all the fluff off. This was a box for my Amanji's, it's just got washi tape in it. I don't use that either because I'm not into journaling this much anymore. Um, this is a little box that my friend made for me just before like COVID hit. This is all my diamond painting stuff. I don't diamond paint often enough. Uh, this is all my miscellaneous manga. I really want all of the corpse parties and I want more of the One Punch Man because it, season one was so good, season two was a bit meh. And the No Regrets, I'm keeping that because it's amazing. This was an incredible book as well, I'm not getting rid of that, it was very creepy. And Junji Ito, I actually really like his work, so it was just a really creepy book, I really enjoyed it. Nothing about it made me angry, it was just like you looked at all the spirals and it really made your head hurt, so it was like a really effective book. I'll probably get rid of the Attack on Titan ones because I don't read them. I'm not really into Attack on Titan, I've got rid of everything else Attack on Titan related, so there's no really any need for me to have that. This book, okay, this book is in really bad shape. <laughs> But my parents bought me this book, oh my god, like I don't even know how many years ago, I was probably four or five and I've read it to death as you can tell. Um, the only reason why they bought me this book was because my name is Mia, so they were like how cute would it be if we got you this book. And I clearly loved it a lot. <laughs> Under my bed there is more storage stuff. You know, my haiku boxes, pens, pencils, clay, whatever else. More sketchbooks and my printer. I recently cleaned it out so I'm not mad to show you guys what it looks like. Because <laughs> it was really gross under there. And just an exercise mat for when I do actually get my ass up and exercise. <laughs> This is just a little storage space, you know. I have so much left over from when my wall was done, so I'll just use that to do whatever, whenever. You know, I'll use it for something. I'm not gonna throw it away or waste it because my parents spent money on it. I don't want to waste money. This is just a box of fine liners. I did keep them in a massive tin, but it's taking up so much space, so. This way of storing it was much easier. Got a bin. Deodorant to stop me smelling because I don't want to smell bad. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put these back. These are little pins. I got it from a con. The artist's name is on the back. 
I think that says cameloon.com. It's a bit difficult to see. But yeah, these pins are really cute. I really like them. Um, this is my giant monster plushie. I really wanted them when they first came out. Couldn't find them anywhere. Came off AliExpress. It came in clutch. Very happy. He's a lot bigger than I thought he would be. Brody loves him as well. He's this. He's this. He gets very jealous of stuff like this. If I pick it up, he gets very mad. <laughs> so I don't pick them up often. Um, coconut oil because it's very good at healing stuff. Like if you put it on a cut, it will heal your cut a lot faster, I think. A tissue that I should have put in the bin. <laughs> Whoops. This is a purse, it's got nothing in it because I'm poor. I got a Kamikichi, he came off of Goods Republic. He's so cute, the only downside is he does not stand up, like, at all. <laughs> Whilst I rolled this up the wrong way around. This is my diamond painting, it is like, I've had it for two years. The top part is done about like this much, all along. But I don't want to take it all out <laughs> because that's a lot of effort to put it all back. This is the stationary thing, tape, highlighters, these little headphone jack things, you know, you can put them into your phone and then you can like tie a charm on it and it will keep your phone safe from dust and stuff. Yeah, there's just fine liners. There's some art from artists in here, but they don't have their name on it, so I can't. <gasps> Why? Why must you do this to me right now? Why? If, sir, please. Please, sir, please. Oh my god, why? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of random stuff for me. Stickers, whatever these are, they came with this great thing, I'm not really sure what it is. I have these bits of wool, I want to get into crochet, but I haven't had the chance. And I got three, because maybe I want to change colour, I don't know. <laughs> I have my other Mitsukimon here so that's what the four ones that i've got but this one's different it's like it's a bus pass and i guess in japan the little scanny thing goes right in the middle here mine does not do that so it would just look like i'm carrying a teddy around which is embarrassing for me because i don't want people looking at me this is my yamato nendroid obviously i would not take this out of the package it's too sacred for that i really I don't want to damage it. His little rumbas there, his beard. <laughs> it's so cute. I am gonna get Nagi, but I have been waiting like four years for Mitsuki, so I hope they bring him out one in the next few years. But yeah, this is cute. I like it. I want to protect it. It will never come out the box. The box got damaged during transit, so stationery and stuff. Just average stationery, like skincare stuff, whatever else I decide to shove around. I have my Carl's, um, he's the one that I named my channel and everything after, so cute, he's huge, I ordered him, I expected him to be like this big, like around about my hand size, but he's massive, I did not expect that. I got my Squishmallow, my friend bought it for me for my birthday last year, and I bought her one in return, so yeah, it's really cute. I got my floor. I bought this recently because they discontinued these dolls and I was really mad because they're like really pretty and I found one on Wish for like £20. I was like that is so cheap so I bought it. On the wall I just have little CGs from the game. I just chose my favourite ones like I love this one it's so cute and I think this one's really sweet because it's nice to see them all laughing together. I really enjoyed that scene a lot. This one obviously I'm a Juban sucker, so yeah. Um, Mitsuki and Iori, I thought this scene was so cute, so obviously I had to stick it on the wall. This is all like vinyl cards and stuff. I don't have a card thing to put it on, so I just put it on the wall. This was also by Fishish Tear. All these stickers were too. They're from. There you go, look. You can find them there. And they did a little doodle and stuff as well these are cute i like them <laughs> i have a little bag board 
as well. So cute. All my little badges, mitts, ski, I have quite a few. This was also from Fishish Tear. <laughs> I bought second hand some of their mons. I think it was Yamato and I bought one that I sent to an online friend. Um, and I got a free little print with it. It did get quite damaged, but straighten it out on the wall sort of helps. I ordered these from Free Prints. I didn't realise till it got here that it cropped off like half the people. Yikes. But yeah, they're really high quality. You get like 45 prints for like £2 shipping. It's 45 free prints a month, so obviously I was going to take that. And they're really nice as well. This is my Juban in jail. <laughs> I thought it'd be really funny to put them in jail, like they've been fighting and they just got put in jail so <laughs> i thought it was funny um Kazanadi, he was the first one that i ever got keeping the dust off these is a pain in the ass but i can live with it he's so cute they're all so cute i especially love yuki because where well, he's so light you can't see any of the dust on him and his little skirt is so cute as well his face is so cute, I love them. Same with Juban as well, they have so much detail on them. I got Tasku and Asma because they're my favourite from Winter Trope, I got these for Christmas. I got all of these off of Plaza Japan or CD Japan, I can't remember. But yeah, they're so cute. Asma never stays on the prongs, I might have to like swap Juban and Tesco and asthma so they can like hang off their chains which I didn't really want to do but yeah so cute my most expensive one was Banry he was probably about I think he was 30 pounds whereas the rest Kazanari was also 30 pounds I think because I got him off eBay him off Goods Republic because he's so rare this one this one this one this one and this one they came off CD Japan or Plaza Japan so they were a lot cheaper they were like 15 or 20 pounds each and I got most of them in bulk for Christmas so I have these lights by my bed by my bed by my desk they're very cute you can't they don't really look as good in the daytime they have a bunch of different modes and stuff my favorite one is just to have them just on while they don't fade so yeah, it's really nice in the dark, but I'm not up here in the dark enough to use them. And I can't sleep because they are very bright if I have them on. So yeah, pictures of my dog. They're quite old. They're from a couple of years ago. You know, this one's so cute. <laughs> His little face. And he's eating ice cream and stuff. They're so cute. Um, yeah, I really like them. They do get paint on them, I don't understand how I get paint everywhere. I need to update them as well, there's a little thingy here. Um, yeah, I need to update them because for whatever reason I haven't. I have a bunch that I'd like to stick up there. I just call it my Wadey wall because his name is Brady and we call him Brady Wadey. So yeah, that's pretty much it I think. You know, I have a little thing under there, sketchbooks and whatever else. But yeah, that's it. That is my bedroom. I guess I'll finish it off where I started by the desk. Yeah. That's my bedroom. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Um, I plan to do some more chatty stuff in the future, hopefully, like over art and stuff. So if there is any A3 topics that you want me to talk about, just let me know, because I would most likely also want to chat about A3 stuff, you know, like head cannons, stuff that's happened in the game, whatever else, my opinions on stuff. So if you want to ask me any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> um, I apologise if I'm awkward or if this is really long. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure how to end this. I'll just, I guess I'll just say bye and I can cut the video off. So <laughs> goodbye. There's a guy. Ah! He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs>